After an unacceptable amount of pushbacks, the one wheel pint is finally here. I've got to say they did not skimp on quality with this. My accessories showed up a week later and I got the right more bundle which means I get a fender, bumpers, and I get clear rail guards. I also got a Ron Burgundy colored handle as well to match everything to kind of bring it. Wait a minute. Ah! Going onto the website just to check make sure I'm not colorblind. That is the Ron Burgundy and this is, this is not bad. This looks like this one here, which is the leather option which is not what I ordered, so they will be getting an email from me shortly. So here we have everything laid out, we have the fender unpacked. The nice thing about these accessories is each one comes with a nice little utility pack, which means it comes with an Allen wrench and all the screws necessary to attach said accessory. You also get another 50 one-wheel pint cards. This fender is really nice compared to the original ones, it's very contoured to the wheel, and it just it looks very clean. Look at that. Perfect scenes. These bumpers are pretty simple. One, two, three, four screws there. Pretty easy to take off. Just for ease of access, I took out the uh, the front pad screws here. And just pulled this back. And under there, you can see that they've actually put a lot more work. And you can see it's newer tech as well. It just it looks cleaner. And there are the connectors for the front foot pad. And I'm assuming the battery. Uh, making it a lot easier to swap out those front foot pads. And then we just have our front front bumper here. It comes out eventually. And there it is. All right. Simple enough. Here's the old one. I'm going to swap in the new one now. Again, this is very nicely made internals compared to the V1 that I have that looks like it was made in a garage. Now with the new one, it's basically the same process. You're just going to make sure you get those fangs in that little, little spot right above the rail. Pretty easy. There you go. Now the back one, this one gave me a lot of trouble. Reason being is it is not a full panel like the front one, it's merely just a like a, a buffer. Now maybe this is just mine, but Ted said to give it a little bit of extra a little bit of extra oomph when you're trying to pull it out. Mine, on the other hand, does not want to be replaced. To the point where I can pick up my one wheel by the bumper and it doesn't move. I did finally get it off after standing on the tire and pulling up as hard as I could. And then it's just the back foot pad there. You can tell they kind of put a little bit of effort into reinforcing that. Overall, I think it looks really clean. I just have to wait for Craft and Ride to come out with some rail wraps and then this should be completed.
One Wheel Pint is everything we could have hoped for. It's smaller, faster, lighter, and an overall amazing board for exploring your area or just simply running errands. This board has many positive things to go over, so we'll go over the core concerns many people had. The tire, the range, and its off-road capabilities. The tire, although smaller, does not decrease from the fact that this is a one wheel. It's a little more rounded, so you're able to really dig into your turns and quickly zip in and out of obstacles, making it a ton of fun for areas such as this AstroTurf track. The range is something they definitely undersell, as I consistently get 8 to 11 miles per ride. Now I'm 5'8", 145, and I ride in Pacific between 11 and 13 miles an hour, so your mileage may vary depending on the rider. The Skyline is also really enjoyable to ride in, but it does burn through battery a little bit quicker. Off-road capabilities were a concern for most, as that's a huge part of getting a one-wheel. No terrain can stop you. This board continues that promise. I took it over this sand gravel area and the wheel never slipped, I was able to keep consistent speed, and overall had a really good time. Now I will note that the rounder tire makes it so that the rocks start to ride up a bit on the sides, but that doesn't take away from the experience. Overall, 10 out of 10 for this board. For the small price at 950, you really get the best one wheel has to offer, all packed into a pint-sized stoke machine. 